It is just really wretchedly hot out there mm. in the sense that, like, mm. e that air, even if there's a fan blowing, it's just so heavy and hot. Yeah, yes. I can't imagine, like, too. sitting yeah. inside right. with no AC. Right. Yeah. It's the humidity, and that's yeah. what we say all the time. It's not so much the heat because 95 degrees is hot no matter which way you slice sure. it. But mm -hmm. if you didn't have dew points in the 70s, at least it would be a little different. A little, right. little yeah. bearable. But outside this evening, it is a bit unbearable. It's getting better now as the day starts to wind down. The good news is in September, the sun sets a bit earlier. So that means the heat starts to drop off at least a little bit more quickly. But again, still today you needed to be down the shore or in the Poconos to get any real relief from the heat, unless you were basically floating in a pool all day, which sounds pretty nice. And I'm jealous if you were. Here's a look, live look at Cape May. You can see the beaches clearing out a bit. Notice it looks a little bit cloudy in Cape May. That's because they're seeing some blow off clouds from a storm that's actually developed over portions of eastern Maryland likely not to impact Cape May, but it is bringing some clouds here and there. And here's what that looks like. We'll start with the big picture and then we'll zoom in on a storm that has formed and impacting portions of Delaware. But you can see this front. This next front is going to be our change maker, but it's hitting a little bit of a roadblock. That roadblock being the remnant circulation from what was once tropical storm Gordon, now a tropical depression, not really allowing this front to move very quickly. So the front's going to start to come through tomorrow. Once it does, it's just going to get hung up and it's going to stall overhead Friday, move to the south over the weekend, and then draw in some of that tropical moisture from Gordon, and that may impact us later on Sunday, especially. So it's not a very, a very active, a very moving weather pattern, and that always runs the risk for some heavy rain and some flash flooding, which we could see as we head into next week. But for now, most of the area is quiet, but there's that storm we talked about. You can see how close Cape May is. That's why they're seeing just some clouds there, but most of the rain is just impacting the far western edge of Delaware and portions of Maryland as well. American Corner up toward Denton, seeing some pretty heavy rain and some thunder and lightning with that one particular cell. Most of the rest of the region is quiet. Overnight, it's partly cloudy. It is staying muggy. 76 will be the low. It'll feel like the 80s all night long. Not a night to turn off the air conditioner. These electric bills can be out of control after the past couple of weeks, but we will get some relief by the weekend. Tomorrow, though, no relief at all. Another scorcher with late day and evening storms moving on through. These will be mainly after the, after the sun goes down under the cover of darkness. So you can see most of the area will be dry through the day. And then about 11 o'clock, we'll see a few showers and storms. The front then stalls overhead. Friday still steamy, not as hot with the clouds, but still a few showers and thunderstorms around. And that will continue into Friday night. So big changes ahead in the forecast. Look at the drop in the mercury. We go from 90s all week, 90s tomorrow to Friday, a bit of a transition as that front starts to sag south over the region. And then by the weekend, low 70s. There's a chance on Sunday that some spots don't even make it past the 60s, depending on just how much moisture and how much wet weather creeps on in Sunday. That'll be the coolest day. Monday, a shower or storm. And then it does start to warm back up next week, but nothing as hot as what we've had this week and last week. So we're moving away from it. Mm -hmm. Let's just hope it doesn't come back as we head into right. mid-September. Yeah. That's for sure. Thanks, Kate. Sure. All right, Don's up next with more sports.